Hey there, West Michigan. Hope you're having a great start to your day. I'm meteorologist Michael Barron. Thanks for watching 13 plus the temperatures. That's been the big story over the past week. We started off pretty cold, but the good news is we are now in the midst of a warming trend that's going to continue through today and into the weekend as well. That means you're going to you're going to have more opportunities to get outside and take in some nice weather like Mike, who took a picture of the tulips in Holland earlier this week. It's going to be much nicer to get out and enjoy especially this weekend when temperatures get back up into the 70s. Of course, thanks to Mike for sending us this photo. And if you want to send a photo in, you can find me on social media. Meteorologist Michael Barron's on Facebook and at Mike Barron's WX on Twitter and on Instagram. The high temperatures today warmer than they were for Wednesday. That's why 13 weather ball is lit up in red as those warmer temperatures are ahead. View of the 13 weather ball sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. As of about 830, temperatures are already on the right rise with some sunshine poking through the clouds out there. Winds are coming in pretty light. They'll stay mostly light today. 43 in Grand Rapids. Those temperatures will quickly warm over the coming hours as winds don't do too much, but the sunshine, of course, helps things out as we work our way through this morning. That frost advisory that was in place going to expire and really haven't seen too much in the way of frost out there as the temperatures just stayed a little bit too warm. We'll see a warming trend that takes us into the 60s shortly after the noon hour today. Could see a stray shower out there this afternoon. That's what we're going to keep in the forecast, but for the most part, most of us will stay dry. High 64 this afternoon. Tonight, scattered shower chances in the northern zones do pick up. 47 the low. That chance will persist tomorrow as well, mostly north of Grand Rapids. Temperature hanging around 68 tomorrow afternoon. Pretty nice afternoon, all things considered. This morning out there, you can see a little bit of that rain chance already up toward Ludington, just off the shoreline line over on the lake. A little bit of light rain up in Mason County. For the most part, though, it's really just going to be a hit or miss shower that's in the forecast today as a little bit of moisture that's up toward Traverse City and over in northern Wisconsin slides our direction. It brings us that chance for a shower this afternoon and again as we head through tonight and tomorrow for the areas north of Grand Rapids. Hour by hour forecast here shows that small shower chance trickle through the region this afternoon again picks up as we head into the overnight hours again, mostly north of Grand Rapids is where we're going to see the best rain chances. Once you get down to Kalamazoo, Battle Creek, South Haven, I wouldn't expect to see any rain for you guys. As we head through the day Friday, shower chances again stay to the north side of the viewing area. But as we head into Friday night, we'll push that moisture out and the weekend will be looking pretty dry both Saturday and Sunday with temperatures that continue to warm again, reaching the 70s by the time we head toward the end of this coming weekend. We're looking at temperatures this afternoon hanging around 60s on the Lake Shore, partly to mostly cloudy skies. Those temperatures in the low to mid 60s for our northern zones with highs right around mid 60s from Grand Rapids down to Kalamazoo. 13 on your side, 10 day outlook. Temperatures upper 60s for Friday and Saturday, 70s by Sunday and Monday. But that warm weather will bring us some thunderstorms during the day on Monday, cooling us to 66 by next Tuesday. Doesn't stay cool for long, though. We jump right back into the 70s, heading through the end of the forecast. This Sunday marks 20 years since the weather ball first lit up the skies here at 13 on your side. So this week we're exploring everything weather ball. Speaking of which, did you know there's actually other weather balls around the country? There's even one not too far away right here in Michigan. The 13 on your side weather ball is an icon of the Grand Rapids skyline from its original home on the Michigan National Bank building in downtown to its present home at the 13 on your side studios in Walker. This beacon has been shining bright and giving the forecast for decades. While this ball is unique to our city, you may be shocked to learn it's far from the only weather ball, more broadly known as a weather beacon, that you can find across the country. Most were constructed in the 1950s and 60s and consisted of weather balls, bells, beacons, and towers. They were placed atop banks, radio and TV stations, or in other prominent locations looking to make an impact on the skyline. While many have been taken down, you actually don't have to travel far to find another weather ball right here in Michigan. Just a quick trip out of Grand Rapids on I-96, around the north side of Lansing on I-69, and exiting into downtown Flint, you'll find the cousin to our own backyard weather ball. 
Weighing more than two tons and sitting proudly above the skyline of Flint since the 1950s, the weather ball here in downtown is now in the care of Huntington Bank. They've invited us inside for a look behind the scenes of their weather ball and to share some of the history of this local icon. Citizens Bank put it up uh, 60, almost 67 years ago, really for a couple reasons. Um, one, to help give recognition uh, to the Citizens Bank brand name and the bank uh, brand name, but really also to look out for people and to help them uh, with an indicator of what the weather was going to be the next day. While similar to ours, their ball does have some differences. Our weather ball has three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. And each of those colors signify what the temperature is going to be the following day. And then we even have the, the uh, weather ball blink if there's going to be any type of precipitation. Speaking of which, they invited me inside to push the button to select the upcoming forecast. So we, we are now at the original control box for the, the weather ball. And as you can see, there were push button indicators for determining the color that the ball would illuminate. Now we've upgraded with LED, energy efficient LED lights in the weather ball, but also a special LED panel. I hope now you have a better understanding of the history of the weather balls and weather beacons that you'll find all over the country and maybe keep an eye out the next time you're traveling to see if you spot one and if you can figure out what the forecast is going to be. And if you want to see an extended version of that story as well as learn more about the weather ball and weather ball phenomena, you can watch the weather ball special on 13 plus that's available on Roku and Fire TV. And then on Sunday, stop by the Mitten Brewing Company. That's where you can meet the 13 on your side weather team as we show off bits of weather ball history. We'll also have weather ball merch on sale. The EV Michigan Road Trip sponsored by LaFontaine Ford Grand Rapids. And today we continued our EV road trip around Michigan with meteorologist Samantha Jacks as she takes us behind the scenes of a Ford factory that makes their increasingly popular electric truck. We are in the Rouge Electric Vehicle Center in Dearborn getting a behind the scenes look at their award winning F-150 Lightning truck. Let's get started. The body, the cab we called in the box, actually is built next door. So the body shop and the paint shop is shared between the ICE units and the BEV units. We have autonomous guided vehicles, and you will see that across the whole plant. And those get charged automatically. There's a charger underground. The way through the whole system, whenever they need charge, they get charged on their own. Oh wow, so there's never a point in day that they're not rotating through, or is there a time frame? They're always rotate always through. Always rotating. And if there's, you have one offline for whatever reason, mm -hmm. we have an offline charger as well. Okay. So we got it. The frame is built upside down, so right now it's upside down. You can see the front suspension, the rear suspension is upside down. So this is where we have the two robots that they're going to pick it up and flip it 180 degree, where you have a third robot going to be able to pick up the high voltage battery and get it right under it. So you'll okay. be able to see that. This is where the, we said the upper body meets the under body. Mm -hmm. We call the body decking area. Um, so we saw the chassis, did all the quality checks, now it's coming in position where your overhead uh, body will be coming shortly to meet it. And that's what we call the body decking area. I that's would the, imagine that with using the computer and the technology yes. that that's very rare that you find something on there that isn't supposed to be? Yes, that's true. Okay. Exactly 100%. Great. And we have that and we also have our team members. They also have team members, so they're not going away. So they also check in the exterior of the vehicle, make sure everything looks good as well. Okay. So this is our exterior inspection. Thanks to Sam for that story. You can look forward to more coverage of the EV road trip later today and tomorrow on 13 on your side, as well as we want to hear your EV questions. So make sure you send them in by texting car to 616-559-1310. Now you're up to date on the latest forecast here in West Michigan, as well as some weather ball and EV knowledge. You can always find more at 13onyourside.com or by downloading the 13 on your side news and weather apps. For now, thanks for watching 13 plus. I'm meteorologist Michael Behrens.